What's going on everyone? It's Jeremy. I got my collectible minifigs. I'm sure you probably did too. I'm here to uh, maybe see how many I've got. There's 12 to collect. You're going to go with the frustration with me to see how many that I don't have. There's 12 to collect. I have two boxes of six and I got two extras, which if you bought on January 1st through lego.com, that was the max. Then two days later, the max of these went from two to 16, like it's been in the past. So when I don't get a complete set, like I expect, I guess I'll go back and get the ones or buy some more. There's also several on here that I'd like to get multiples of, because I imagine I'll try to put a full set in a case, but there's a few that I'd like to add to my collection. Um, just throughout my city, like the uh, the carrot guy to put in my farm, and a few others uh, to put the knight in one of the castles for sure. Now let's see what we got. That one is that's going to be our space guy, and I'm not going to put them together all right at once because I'm going to try to make this video flow semi through this without kind of taking up time but the very first one I do want to get this out just to have a guide now, obviously everybody's going to be obsessed with that one because that'll probably have the biggest resale value five years plus from now the orc um, anybody that's a warcraft fan you know if you had five or ten of those oh yeah that'd be great to have the koala, if you guys are having a, a zoo or anything in your city, getting three or four of those would be amazing. Really nothing on the bottom row excites me. Wouldn't mind just having one of each of those. The goalie, or the, the referee, that's pretty sad, honestly. Two bricks and a ball. The ball, I guess, is the biggest thing. If you weren't a collector of soccer balls back in the early 2000s, like, like I was... <laughs> And got a lot of those. Um, the T-Rex thing's pretty cool. I think one, maybe two. I could put one in my museum with my T-Rex thing. Anyway, that's our first one. So what I'm going to do is try to just pile some of them up. And I'm going to move this. I'm going to put this here so we've got this as a reference guide. Here, zoom in a little bit. And are you kidding me? So we're off to a great start. <laughs> great. This is how it started the last time when I opened six bags and had four of the same thing. It was the toucan. So, pretty cool design, but I don't need a bunch of those. And the odds are I'm gonna get another, at least one of those. I would not be surprised if I got two. Now the good thing with these boxes buying a six pack is you know you're going to get at least six different ones. So that's a plus. The bad thing is, am I going to get this box and this box be exactly the same? That's a high probability, but I don't know. Maybe there's actually different boxes to where you're not going to get six of the same. I don't know that. I've never had that happen before. Um, so we're curious. Now, which one are we going to get now? Is it... Better not be the same one again. Okay, so we got the rocking horse girl. So there's your rocking horse. That's pretty cool. I guess I could go on a Christmas village set if I get multiple ones of that. But, yeah, that's pretty neat. It's good to have at least a different one. I'm already tired of the space guy. Oh, this one's really simple to put in say I didn't even get a torso. So I'll put this one together really fast. My wife will like that. One hair piece. And does it rock? Yes, it does. There we go. I'm not sure what this piece is for. Oh, is it for this? To mount it. That's exactly what that's for. Ah. Okay. All right, next up. And the goalie. There's your soccer ball. 
Nothing else in the bag. We'll move on. That's the one I really don't care that much about. I guess if I have another goalie, if I get two of them or stuck with two of them, I can build my uh, soccer field. Um, I got one of those big soccer field sets from back in the 2000s. Um, so I was in France during the 98 World Cup. And right after that, got back. Lego came out with this. I think, I don't know if this was 2000 or 2002 during the World Cup in 02 when those sets came out. Well, here's the potter. So we've got our pottery stuff, which are just the, the tea bowls and the goblet. But that one right there. It's a new headpiece design, at least for me it is. Okay. So now we're up to four of 12. I'm waiting on that. I know I'm going to get another one of those. I know you guys are waiting for it too. <laughs> oh, I have a cold too. So my laugh sounds horrible. But there's another one. We are just going to leave that in the bag. Now, the question is, in this box, because I know neither one of these is going to be that guy. So, do you think in that box I'm going to get another one of these space guys? Oh, here's the good one. I think we'll build this one. So, here's our space guy. So, the baby looks like he comes with the air tanks on the back. And, yeah, there's the body for him. We've got our brown tanks. It's the first time I think he's in brown. I'm pretty sure. Reddish brown, at least. I don't know if there's an older, regular brown that came out or not, if they've already done that one. You guys let me know. Have they done the old, original brown rather than uh, this reddish brown on the Spaceman color? So... There you go. It's like mini me. <laughs> I'd like to have a couple more of those, honestly. I'm not a big classic space collector. I have classic space because, I, I mean, I've been collecting since the middle 80s. But city was more my thing. Okay. That looks like the paper boy. Yep. So there's his body. Suspenders. And it worked really well for like a 1920s, 30s era if you were doing some kind of mock thing there. Especially even with all the paper boy all together. But uh, yeah, that body frame with the suspenders. Or even on a farm. That would work. Like a dust bowl type farm. Okay. So we've gotten six. We've opened eight bags. We have six different ones. I don't save the boxes. I'm not a box hoarder, especially on something like this. The only reason to save the box is if you don't open the box in this case. All right. Which, what do you think? Is it something we already got? It better not be that stupid space guy again. And it is one we already got. You guys can see in there. Looks like I got another uh, one of those. The um, that guy. So I'm, I'm not feeling good about this right now. Oh wait, we have a different one. Our T-Rex. So that means no matter what, I can't get a complete set right now at this point because I I have five bags left. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I got five. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we'll move on. I'm trying to do math here and count and process of elimination. Deductive reasoning, it's not working when I'm trying to go too fast. There, oh, God, another one? I know you knew. <laughs> oh, man, so... I'm sure most of you will probably be short. This guy. Oh, all I need is a space guy. Space ranger, whatever this guy is. 
or Space Invader. And it's because I got them all. Just like every other time that I do this. So I'll probably, I'll buy another box. I, I'm limited on the boxes now. I can, I can use my other Lego VIP account that my wife has. Oh, there's a cool one. I got the, the Space Guy and the Mini. And this one. So two of those. So there's the two that I wanted. The problem is... I need this one, this one, that one, that one, that one. And I want two of that one, like two of that. I'd be okay with one. I do would like, I would probably prefer maybe a handful of those if I'd ever do a Warcraft mock. Like a little Warcraft orc village. And we're having great luck today, guys. Okay, soccer ball. And the last one is the Potter. Are you kidding me? I bought 12, 14 of them, and I got how many different ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is sad. Even buying two boxes. So the one thing I did with the Muppets, now that you've seen it, I just waited and I got on eBay and I paid basically, I think $2 more. I got a decent deal. I paid $2 more than what I could have paid for all these up front and free shipping and just got the full set and it only cost me $2 more. It basically five, $5 and change a piece, which are what these are, $5 plus tax. So, man, after tax, I guess these are like $5.30 where I'm at. Jeez. Anyway, guys, that's my frustration. I'm sure if you've done this before, you feel my pain. I'm going to get some more of these, obviously, because I'm going to get a complete set because now I'm invested. I could also go to my, uh, my local, not local, but semi-local Lego store, up in St. Louis, which is 100 miles away. Sometimes they've got them pre-sorted there and you can just buy what you need. Or the minifig shop that's in St. Louis, or well, just in kind of the suburbs of St. Louis, which is a, a privately owned place, and they'll have them too. They may have them marked up a dollar or so. But I guess if you're down to one and you need one, it's way cheaper to do that than buy one on eBay and pay $4 in shipping for a $5 minifig. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm sure you enjoyed my frustration. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one.